Right, this is Alex from the Boxing Voice here with Dempsey at the Shoebox Gym in Northampton. How are you doing, buddy? You all right? Yeah, really good, mate. Look a really bit good. tired? Yeah. You're training, yeah? Yeah, work out now, Sunday morning. Yeah? Feeling good. Good, yeah. good. Um, so, obviously, uh, you've had your debut fight now. Yep. Um, a few weeks ago. Um, we'll get on to that in a minute. Uh, just a quick one for the fans, really. How do you how do you get into fighting? Here's might have something to do with Kieran and the Conways there. Yeah, or? there was um, uh, it was oh, how many years ago now? Probably about three years ago. I was in a local pub to me. We were just having a few beers and that. And um, well, actually, I will take it back. Years ago, I used to train with Kieran and James when Kieran was probably about 12, 13. I went to Kings Eve Amateur Boxing Club for a little while, and then. Uh, I ended up leaving for whatever reason and then years later I was in the pub and uh, having a few beers and I looked up at the telly and Kieran Conway was fighting Ted Cheeseman and I, rem I thought I knew I remembered him from when he was only 12, 13 years old at, um, the shoot at, at King's Eve Boxing Club and I, I, I saw I seen him and I thought oh, I'd like to give that another go. Seeing him there I was like I want a piece of that and then I contacted James, spoke to him, said I'd like to come up to the start training with you again. Um, I'm a bit older now, so I'd like to just skip amateurs and just go professional and say, look, let's give it a go. Let's see what we can do in the short period that we have. And I came up and started training, started progressing. He brought me on a lot. And uh, yeah, now I'm professional, first fight out of the way. Yeah. And uh, it's going good. Yeah, Must be exciting really for you, especially sharing a gym with the likes of Kieran Conway, yeah. decorated TV fighter. Yeah, yeah. And that's like, give you some motivation. Yeah. yeah, massively, massively. If you could, if I could just get just a small fraction of his success and like, the lads in here, they're all doing so well, I'd be, I'd be happy. Yeah. Obviously, it's your first fight, like we said, in Northampton at the Deco. Yeah. Uh, big event for you. How yeah, did that go? Talk oh, us through brilliant. it. Brilliant. Yeah. Loved it. Loved every second of it. Yeah, he had a lot of fans. Yeah, there was quite, I think, I think there was about 100 odd. I think there was over 100 people that were there for me and uh, they were all screaming for me and just hearing them all. It was just, yeah. it was just a dream come true, really. Just, I've visioned it so many times, that happening, coming out to music and hearing everyone screaming and yeah, it's brilliant. Really I mean, cool. they took you up against quite a strong journeyman there. I was ringside for that fight. It was yeah. a good fight. It yeah, came yeah. to you a bit. How did you yeah, find yeah. that? Yeah, I, I, I felt all right. I, I just had it in my head like there's nobody here that's better than the lads in this gym so I knew I, I could deal with whatever so like I've sparred Kieran, Ben, Ethan like respect to the, the bloke I was with he's really good and like he knows what he's doing knows all the tricks but he's not he's not their level. Have you found you've learned anything from that fight there? Um I learned because when I spar sometimes I'm relentless and I just go 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 and I was quite surprised how I listened to what James had said. Oh, I kept composing because I was worried that I was going to come out, hear the crowd screaming, go all oh, guns blazing, and then I'll be, you know, I'll be spent running on empty. But yeah. I managed to just keep keep my composure, and I, I felt pretty good. Yeah, I felt, yeah. I felt seasoned in a way, but even though it was like my debut, but I felt like I knew what I was doing. I was meant to be here. Like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, at the at the event that Team Fourteen put on there. Big yeah, event, obviously yeah, really your good. friends and family yeah. were there. Yeah. They all enjoyed it, had a great time. Yeah, yeah, okay. well, I have to thank TM14, or 14. is it TM14? 14. TM14, I have to thank them because they, they believed in me, they threw me out there for the first one and they put on a really good event. Yeah. And uh, you know, everything runs smoothly. It was uh, really good. Everyone who I brought just said what a brilliant night it was. So thank Wicked. you for them as well. Just um, obviously on to your next one. You've got yep. a fight coming up in a couple of weeks. How, you, yeah. how are you getting ready for that? Yeah, it's going good, yeah. Just keep on training. Just it's uh, like I said this in the interview before, but what you what you realise about professional boxing is the the professional part is outside. It's, the boxing is the easy bit, just boxing, but when you come off the like, like when I hear I heard it on the telly yesterday actually they were saying about Kid Galahad where oh now he's reached champion but as a complacency could creep in and stuff like that and you've got to be careful with all of that like every fight not just being a champion like because I'm not going to lie like after that first fight probably two weeks off, I was like oh, I'll eat this I'll eat that and then, then you think oh, you think Jesus like, like it's complacency can creep in at any point so it's the professional bit is outside thing right you're a professional athlete now like you've got to be regimented outside the boxing ring the boxing bit's there 
easy fun bits, everything else outside, that's the professional part. Yeah, yeah, keeping yourself grounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, yeah, and yeah. just, you know, not letting yourself, like, oh, you may say, oh, you go for a drink. Like, get out of control and stuff like that, and your food, it's just about being professional now. You're a professional athlete. Conduct yourself professionally. Wicked. Well, thank you very much, Dempsey. No problem. Good luck on your next fight, thank and let's you. see how thank it you. goes for you. And I think you, you've got fights coming up soon, haven't you? So, yeah, we'll uh, <coughs> be looking forward to all of them. All right. uh, brilliant. Thank you very much, buddy. Cheers. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon.com backslash The Boxing Voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.